here in the Philippines, you will find the billionaire pastor who claims to be the son of God. Here is what happened to him. You are either the son of God, or you're delusional, or you're a very successful con man. Before they can come to the Father, they go through me. Every human being. Apollo Kiboloy is a Filipino pastor and church leader of the Philippines-based Restorianist Church called the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, KJC. He founded KJC in 1985 and has made claims that he is the appointed son of God as well as being the owner of the universe. Kibuloy has claimed possession of divine powers including stopping the 2019 Cotabato earthquakes at his command and has said that the public should thank him for the act. During the C-19 pandemic, following his indictment by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation in November 2021, Kibuloy said that the emergence of the Omicron variant is due to the persecuting and maligning he received from the public. Faith. There have been men, many of them, who claim to be a new messiah. And tonight, we're going to meet three of them, including one in the faraway Philippines who has amassed a flock, he says, numbers in the millions. Poor people who give what little they have to the man they believe is the second coming of Jesus. So how do you justify your, your lifestyle? I mean, your watch could probably feed 100 families for a month. If it's not God's will for me to have these things I have, yeah. you can take it away. It is God's will that, 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 that we follow. But they get their understanding of the will of God from you. Yeah. And this, this nice young man wouldn't be holding this umbrella if he didn't believe the things you say. For us here, we see everything as a ministry. My talent is to preach. My talent is to be a leader. Not everyone can become a preacher or have been given a talent like me to go and lead the six million people. Right. But Jesus, when he, when he walked the earth, according to the Bible, uh, lived among lepers and prostitutes. I live among, among them. You have a private jet. It is him who gave me that. If it is not his will, how can I afford that? Well, possibilities here. You are so, either the son of God, or you're delusional, or you're a very successful con man. He has now a net worth of $160 million, luxury private jets, and helicopters with millions and millions in value, a series of vehicles of Mercedes-Benz, $16 million in cost, and not to mention the Kingdom Arena, which costs about $13 billion. The Kingdom itself will be bigger than the 55,000 capacity Philippine Arena, with the kingdom having a capacity of 75,000, making it the largest indoor arena in the world. The Tamayong Prayer Mountain, located in the foothills of Mount Apo in Davao, is an 8-hectare covenant and prayer center that sits 10,311 feet above sea level. The Tamayong Prayer Mountain was built in 1999 by Pastor Kibuloy, who dubbed the site the Garden of Eden Restored. He said that only the real Son of God can restore the Garden of Eden. He allows his private jets, helicopters, and vehicles to be used by powerful politicians. But the question, friends, where does all his money and wealth come from? You will be surprised and shocked. Answer, his wealth comes from the members of his KJC. He repeatedly tells his congregation their simple doctrine that Kibuloy is the key to salvation and without him, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So in order for them to convince their members, they gave them three simple missions. Number one, spiritual missions. They do preach that to get to heaven, you need to repent. Through repentance, you must cast aside your repent! own interests and put in priority the will of the Father. Sounds biblical. But number two, revolution of excellence, that you should give the best for God, excellence in giving. 
Number three, financial revolution. He teaches that in order to end poverty, you have to give to impart to the kingdom of Jesus Christ excellent financial commitments. And only then the Father will bless you through Apollo Kibuloy, the appointed Son of God. You will notice the word obedience is scattered and emphasized to their members. Perfect obedience. Oh, I will kill you if you will not obey me. Oh, I will kill you if you will not obey me. And you must be a full-time spiritual worker of Kibuloy. Most of the time, teenagers becomes their victim and brainwashes them saying that this is their great calling. This is the great commission from Christ. The poor converts will be sent out to the streets to beg. Like a con artist asking for money on restaurants and mall, pretending to be students in need of financial support. Some of them are pretending to be deaf and mute in order to collect money. I have personally seen them in the malls and approached me and I bought their products, but I didn't know they were working for Kibuloy. Here is a testimony from the former members. Now and then we would be dispersed to the area at maybe 6 a.m. And then we are not allowed to go home and it doesn't matter if it's past midnight until we meet our individual codas. So I can tell you how we get a lot of money. Number one, pretend that you are a student. You are a student, you are a self-supporting student, and you are doing this um, for your study, to continue your study. Now, the other thing is, we pretend that we were deaf and mute. So we, we try to do the sign language pretending that we were deaf and mute. Imagine almost 7 million victims being used by this pastor with this kind of system based on deception. How many millions of dollars does this church accumulate in a year? And it will not be a surprise why Kibuloy has luxury properties until this happened. February 2022, USA FBI released a wanted poster of Kibuloy for conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking by force, fraud, sex trafficking of children, bulk smuggling, and more. In Matthew 24, Jesus foresaw in the future that His name will be used for money. And religion will not be about Jesus. It will be about business, greed, power. There will be false Christ and false prophets that will arise and use the name of Christ to enrich themselves. Money is not bad, that's why God provides it. But the love for money is the root of all kinds of evil. But these things in the wrong hands can be used to take advantage of people. And if we do not know the real Jesus in the Bible, if we don't know the real Son of God, we will end up following blind leaders. Jesus lived a poor life in order for us to be rich and by His stripes we are healed. Would you like to follow Christ, the real Son of God of Bible prophecy? If yes, kindly type in the comment section, I will follow the Son of God. Thank you, dear friends. May you share this video for awareness and may we truly fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith and the real Son of God.